This is The Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is this OK Lock brand fingerprint padlock, though they're sold online under many different names. We're going to approach it a little bit differently. Normally, when I'm dealing with an unknown design like this, I'll have previously looked at the lock, likely disassembled it, and already have a pretty good idea of how it works and what its weak points are. Because of that, the video is usually over in just a few minutes. But enough of you asked me how long it takes to come up with these exploits that I decided to show you the planning process with a lock that I have never seen before. So let's dig into this one together and see if we can find its Achilles heel. Okay, right away we can see the bottom. There is a USB charging port. And beneath that is a hole with hard plastic inserted in it. I suspect that covers a screw, so we could try prying that out and removing the bottom panel. Then on the front, we have what appears to be a piece of plastic held on adhesively. I suspect behind there is the main circuit board, so that could be another line of attack. So let's start prying those pieces up and see what we come up with. Just going to use a little screwdriver. Okay, let's start with the top. I'm going to do this, tr trying to do as little damage as possible, but it's pretty likely we're going to damage the lock at least a little bit. Okay, there we go. We pried that up and definitely did a little bit of damage to that cover. And I see a hard plastic cover behind there, and that might be a couple of screws buried. There's another hole. That is a screw. Okay, that's certainly not good, having a, looks like a Phillips screw buried under there. Let's see if that one comes out as well, and it does. Okay, does this cover come out now? It certainly seems to. So I'm doing a bit of damage to it. Okay. I think that's checkmate, folks. I see the main circuit board here and several wires attached to it. If I had to guess, I'd say the white and the yellow go to the motor. In fact, I don't have to guess. I can see they go to the motor. Then one set of red and black will go to the battery. If I can correctly follow them, I think it's this set, and one set of red and black goes to the charging port, would be my guess. So, since we have access to the motor wires, I have a desktop power supply here. It's off camera. I'm going to dial that into about 3 volts. I don't want to burn anything out and see if we can figure out the correct combination to activate that motor. Okay, since, well, let's just try it this way first. I heard the motor move, but nothing happened, so I probably got it backwards. Okay, so that's what we do. However, I would not use a desktop power supply for a video. What I might try to do is open it with a paper clip by perhaps using the battery inside of here as the power supply. So let's, let's lock this up again. I think that's it. That's correct. And I have a couple of bridge wires that I use just for this. 
Here they are. They're just little pieces of music wire. And if memory serves, it was the negative to the yellow that got this open. And that doesn't seem to be working. Possible we don't have enough power in here. Let's try it the other way. Maybe I got it wrong. I heard the motor move, so there is enough power and it didn't unlock. I just must have been doing something wrong while bridging these wires. There we go. Okay, so I certainly would not use these on a video. I'd probably do something catchy like bend a couple of paper clips and have a title that I can open this fingerprint lock using a paper clip. Let's pull this bottom plug out, see if there's a better exploit down here. This is a hard piece of plastic. There was never any way we could get that out without damaging it. And I do see a Phillips screw underneath some sealant. So let's get a Phillips screwdriver. And I actually have a couple of hooks that I use or pulling things like this out. This one should be right. There we go. Okay, so what do I see in here? I've got the battery right here. I see the wires to the motor. I can't access the mechanism in any way. Honestly, I don't know which is better. Either way, I'm doing a little bit of damage to the plastic, either that tiny little bit on the front, which I probably could be a little bit more careful and do less damage, or I'll destroy the plug on the bottom. Either way, it would be one of those two exploits. I could access all the wires I need to access from the bottom. I think it'd probably be a little bit easier from the front. So that's what my video would be. I'd say I have this Oki Lock fingerprint padlock that I open with a screwdriver and a paper clip. So now you've seen behind the curtain, you know the process. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.